guys what's up welcome back to my channel i hope you can hear me can you guys tell there's some sort of difference in the setup in the lighting in the quality tell me guys what do you think is it different what is it giving welcome back to my channel this video guys is before you even continue watching this video please like and subscribe if you haven't because let me tell you guys the time that i'm shooting this video it's 12 10 a.m it's past midnight i have literally waited for the lights to come back so that i can shoot this video i was just in bed like this so that my makeup don't like get ruined and everything so that i can shoot this video for you guys questions were submitted four weeks ago that's exactly one month ago and i know i know i have been keeping you guys waiting and it's finally time that i'm gonna answer all these questions they were submitted on instagram i also got some from tiktok which actually i should have checked before i came to instagram and also youtube but i don't think there were in the community tab there were specifically questions maybe just in vlogs you know instagram and tiktok i'm gonna check them in a few but i'm sure they're all like signing up to the same thing mostly it's about finances today i'm gonna be talking to you guys about how i managed to move out of my mom's house finally and get my own house so first of all cheers to that um we're gonna be having a mimosa yeah I needed this because i'm gonna be talking a lot i'm sure and you guys know i talk a lot i explain things a lot so this is going to be a very talkative video and i'm hoping that it's going to inspire a lot of you guys please 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 don't compare yourself in this video all the information that i'll be giving and everything i'll be saying it's purposefully and purely for educational and entertainment purposes only so kindly if whatever i say does not resonate or with you or if you feel like it won't work for you it's totally okay this is not the die all truth about moving out i'm just sharing from my own experience and also i know during this stage and time of internet it's very easy to compare yourself with somebody else i'm genuinely hoping that you don't compare yourself either to me or any other content creator you see out here just follow your own path take what you know is connected to you like not everything that i'll say here will apply to your own life and just go with that so this is just to give you guys um basically like a plan on how i managed to sort myself out and fully move out and hopefully give you guys tips and tricks on how to save up in case you want to move out of your mom's or your parents place another thing that i want to say there's no specific age that is right for you to move out you move out when you feel ready if you want to move out at 30 if you want to move out in your mid 20s in your late 20s whatever works for you boo boo like out here don't move out out of pressure of people and i don't know this illusion of about moving out when you have not planned yourself unless it's in a situation where your mental health and your well-being depends on like you moving out but please don't feel pressured there's no specific time by a certain time that you're supposed to have moved out moving out comes with a lot of responsibilities so i would obviously if you're in a position if you have the privilege to stay at your parents house take as much time as possible until you plan yourself to move out again i have said unless your well-being and your mental health and your physical health depends on that and then you just have to move out i totally understand um such situations so please proceed in this video with caution be aware and this is not to pressure anyone yeah guys i feel those like those are all the disclaimers that i wanna say because i don't want anybody to feel pressured and i don't want anybody to feel triggered with this video i mean after giving those disclaimers if somebody feels triggered i don't know how to help with that after that but i'm just sharing this information with the best of intention and to help help somebody who even if you're not planning on moving out now in the near future or when, whatever time you want to move out i'm just sharing my experience for that 
reason so we're gonna start with the super fast video i feel like i should give you guys a background of how or just a little bit of my background to where i am now and how i grew up and basically everything because yeah moving out to me was a quite a big deal especially to like where i am right now like how i managed to move out into the house that i moved out to like it's such a big um thing to me and a big deal to me and i'm so grateful wow that was the longest intro ever but i felt like those were necessary disclaimers to give because please guys always take care of your mental health first don't let social media pressure you i know it's very easy for that to happen but i'm hoping you guys will proceed with caution anyway a little background of Sarah Rugoro. My name is Sarah Rugoro. So I'm the firstborn of is it two siblings? One sibling. I have one sibling. So we are two children. <laughs> um and I grew up in a single mom household. I grew up in the ghetto. Came to Nairobi about probably 15 plus years ago and we used to live in a single room and me and my mom that time my sister was not about me and my mom used to sleep on the floor literally which reminds me i need to buy her a new bed and a new mattress because it's the same mattress guys oh my god i'm gonna buy her a new bed and a new mattress soon anyway this is gonna get emotional i hope i'm not going to cry but i really feel like i want to start crying anyway we used to sleep on the floor with my mom um and then we later got a bed she was gifted that bed by somebody a, a friend of hers from church um we lived in a single room for so long like for so 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 long i want to say somewhere close to 10 years you are living in a single room if you guys know what a single room is it's just basically like this room it's everything it's where you cook it's where you sleep it's where like everything and toilets are outside shared toilets outside um and then um back in 2019 i moved my mom out of mind you guys we came to nairobi in 2008 and we moved out of a single room house in 2019 we moved out in the wow i'm gonna cry i really don't want to cry i just hope this is going to encourage somebody to never give up on themselves and never give up on their dreams but basically in 2019 i moved out my mom to a one bedroom and i was so excited when i tell you guys i was so excited my inner child was screaming i was feeling like i'm on the top of the world from moving from a single room to a one bedroom house and you guys can watch that video i have a house tour of that video on my channel i did it about like maybe three years ago that is I shot the video in 2020 when I started my YouTube channel and then in 2021 a lot of things happened I my phone got stolen we ended up moving that whole time we were living in the ghetto in ghetto right like I'm telling you guys <laughs> growing up where I have grown up like I don't think anything can stop me from going after what I want like it's it seems like it was a bad thing or like a challenge but it was the biggest blessing for me it was the biggest blessing 100 percent. it was like a blessing in disguise like i don't know if i was from that background if i would be where i am today plus it just makes sense it like ties my whole story together where i have come from to where i am and where i am going so basically when we moved to a one bedroom we used to share a bedroom with my mom i had um my bed and then my mom and my sister had their bed for the longest time that whole time from 2008 to 2019 we used to share a bed me my sister and my mom i think i have said this before um i used to stay up on my phone watching youtube videos watching youtube tutorials makeup tutorials until at around something 3 a.m 4 a.m um when it's about one hour to time for my mom to wake up so that i can get in bed so that i couldn't like push them like 
sit up thing you guys get what i'm saying making yako bed because i would sleep this side facing this side and my mom and my sister would sleep on the other side oh my gosh i'm gonna cry shout out to my mom because <laughs> now i keep understanding her more and more like i don't know where she got that strength i don't think i would ever have gotten that much strength to go through all those conditions and raise two kids by herself but she did it anyway fast forward we moved out of that shared one bedroom and we moved to not the house that my mom is currently in it's a two bedroom i had my own bedroom and my mom has their own bedroom which again i have to remember to change their bed <sighs> anyway so we lived there for i lived with them for about one year plus and then this year I was like, you know what? I'm gonna move out. In my vision book, I had written that mm, I might move out. Like I had written, just like I was not, I had not fully decided that I wanna move out this year. But I was like, I had written it just in case. Like I'm gonna start saving, and I can hopefully either move out the end of the year or early next year. And then I think it was around March. I was like you know what i when i move out i feel like i can plan myself to save i can i feel like i'm in a position where i have really worked on my money mindset and i trust in god that he's going to support me and he will continuously show up for me i support that universe has my back and i'm also doing my work like i'm just gonna move out so i will start saving and i'm going to move out so i started saving and we will get into the questions in a few i started saving and then about two or three months later i started house hunting before i started physically house hunting because i didn't even house hunt for that long i house hunted one day and i was with my girlfriend and then we found this apartment and i was like you know what i'm not house hunting anymore but before that i used to look at houses online i'm just checking checking the areas that i wanted to move to the price range and everything at that time i'm just saving and then eventually i think um end of april or beginning of may is when i told my mom i'm going to move out and my mind was pretty made up like fully made up i was like no matter how she's going to react i'm going to move out one thing about me my mom can tell you guys i am kind of over rebel so she knows that <laughs> <laughs> especially if i have made up my mind about a particular thing i was like there's nothing that is going to change my mind about this i'm gonna move out so surprisingly at first she was shocked she was like i remember the day i told her it's like i could physically see her heart drop from her chest to her stomach she was so shocked she was so shocked she was like what Remember, guys, if I have experienced poverty to the level I'm telling you guys, you can imagine the level of poverty my mom has experienced and the challenges she has gone through. So you can imagine how if my money mindset is fucked up and my money beliefs are fucked up, you can imagine hers. So she was just like, she, I could physically see her heart dropping from her chest to her stomach. She was so shocked. And she was like, huh? Mimi say yo, I had fully, I was like, cause I was kind of ready. I knew at first my mom would have some sort of resistance, but one thing about me, I will stand my ground. So she was like, ah, huh? well, like she didn't shout. She was just like shocked and like physically shocked. <laughs> and she was like, what, why? Why are you moving? No, how will you be? How will you manage? And when you guys, let me briefly so because in case you're new here, I get up for their bills and I get up for my bills. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like a super freaking super woman. Like I feel so loved with God. Sometimes I used to compare myself with other content creators and the things they're doing, and then I remind myself, Sarah, have you forgotten all the things that you handle? And nowadays, it, I usually just let it snap, snap 
me back to my reality and be like hey remember who you are remember all the things that you do please don't compare yourself with other people so my mom was so shocked and she was like wow how are you going to manage how will you manage paying that rent and also paying our rent and will you be able to do all this stuff like why are you moving so you buy land with that money oh all this all this like my mom was literally at first so shocked and she was not for it but obviously with me like we are not gonna sit down and start negotiating a decision that i have already made so it's just like you mom don't worry um all i would require from you and all i need from you right now it's for your prayers and for your blessings and for you to ask god to keep blessing me so that i can never lack and i assured her don't worry right now i don't want you to doubt me i don't want you to start thinking of how things can go badly like that's not the energy that i need right now right now i need you to tell god which obviously like guys if there's change of course those fears they're gonna get into you totally understandable especially coming from where we have come from so i just affirmed her and i told her mom obviously it's really right now what i need from you it's not to tell me how like i can do this better or rather how or i should not move out and i should it would be wiser for me to use my money to do this this and that i just want you to support me and believe in me and believe that i have calculated everything and everything is gonna be all right and i told her instead of you worrying and questioning if i'm going to be okay i need you to pray and tell god to never fail me and to never not be on my side to always come through for me and come was sure i assured her if you do that and me how i am i know i am right now with god we can't lack anything so that day's conversation kind of ended there um, of course i didn't change my mind she tried that day immediately when i told her she kind of tried talking me out of it like i've told you guys that was not possible and i just told her you just know that i'm gonna move out and then a couple of days later um she just started warming up we started talking about me house hunting she's just asking telling me make sure you look for somewhere where there's this where there's water where there's that and then now we finally had another conversation we sat down i don't know where even that conversation started and she just started the conversation we we're just seated talking and then randomly to that conversation came up and i affirmed her some more this time around she was more calm she had processed the news because the first time she was just responding out of fear and uh, out of like impulse that fear that shock so this time round i just affirmed her i asked mom you know i've never failed to pay you guys this rent um you yours is always sorted you don't have to worry about that everything is going to go okay believe in me god has been showing up for me i know nothing is going to go wrong you just keep praying for me keep telling god that i never lack this this and this to always be showing up for me and everything is gonna be okay and she was like okay cool and she was on board this is after she had thought it through and processed i didn't you see guys never back down if you know you're making the right decision never back back down i even told her even that when you're saying i could have bought don't worry it will come um we'll buy it this i'm doing for myself it's an essential need it's an essential step in my life right now and i can feel it my life where it is at the moment this is supposed to be this is meant to be my next step and if i make this next step it will this is me investing in myself i have like invested in you guys so long i have taken care of you guys this is a way of me taking care of myself and giving back to myself and me by doing this i'm a hundred percent sure that it will put me in a position where i will be able to get more that i will be able to even give you guys more so that was a form of me loving myself and putting myself first because i knew if i do this i'll be able to fill their cups more like 
you get guys that saying whereby always fill your cups first so that you can be able to share it with other people it was basically that because by me moving out i was investing in my peace of mind in my just my mental state my physical state i just wanted to be the freedom and the peace of having my own place and like just i don't know guys i don't know how to explain it and i knew if i do that it would put me in a position where by more blessings will flow into my life because i have decided to give back to myself because i'm such a giver and it's so easy for me to just give 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 to people who i love and sometimes i might forget myself but this was the biggest investment that i have given to myself so far and it was 100 percent worth it anyway i feel like that's a good backstory so even <laughs> funny thing as I was the one who was convincing my mom, not, like not technically convincing because there's nothing she could have done. I had already made up my decision. But when we were having that conversation the first time and I'm like trying to tell her, don't worry, I'm affirming her. It came full circle. It came full circle when I was deciding in this, between this house and the one bedroom. And my mom was affirming me on these two bedrooms. She was like, you know, I went and told her, me... When I was planning myself, my budget was for the one bedroom. Oh my gosh, I feel like this has turned into a full story time. This video is probably going to be super long, but I hope you guys have grabbed your drinks. So, um, my mom was like, so we were talking and I was showing her videos of the houses that I have gotten and I showed her the one bedroom, but I told her, I feel like the one bedroom is small. I don't feel like it's going to fit my equipment, my filming stuff. It's just going to be too crowded. Like, it's, like I just felt it, it was going to be small. And then I showed her the two bedroom. I told her the price. And she started affirming me and I told her the two bedroom is what my heart feels that I really want. But when I was budgeting, I was budgeting for the one bedroom. But I told her even the two bedroom is possible. It's just that I had my mind I was planning for the one bedroom. And she was like, Oh my gosh, um I even thought you you were going for the two bedroom this whole time when you're house hunting. Let me imagine just go for that two bedroom. It's a good investment for your business. You'll have the other room to keep your equipment because this one bedroom is obviously small. Take the other one so that one room can be your office. Oh my God, guys. It felt like that day that I saw this two bedroom, I was with Brenda. We had come to take measurements for the one bedroom and I saw the two bedroom and I immediately fell in love with it and I shot a house tour not the one that you guys saw i shot a house tour that same freaking day even though it's not the house that i had been budgeting for but i how i shot a house tour and i was like because this house was like an extra ten thousand from the two bedroom and i was like this is the house that I want. Wait a minute. This is the house that I want. And I told Brenda, shoot me. I'm going to take a house tour. I edited. I uploaded it. But it's still on my private videos. So it's not on public. And I feel like I did that to manifest. Because I just stepped in this house and I felt it's immediately it's mine. Even when I went to talk to my mom about I told her the one bedroom is small. But it's this two bedroom. I love it so much. And I'm really considering to go with it but it's ten thousand more than the one bedroom and i was expecting my mom to tell me no and uh, or like will you my mom there was no hesitation she was immediately like oh my gosh this whole time i thought you were looking for a two bedroom she was just i was even me i could not believe it the way she affirmed me she told me even if it's 10k more you just go for it i know you'll never lack she just like oh i felt him so much Peace because when I get got into this house, I took pictures. I was like, this is the house that I want. I sent it to my girlfriend and then I went home. I showed it to my mom. Everybody was just agreeing. Yes, 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 yes to this house. That time, it's challenging my money's mindset, my scarcity mindset. Mind you, the amount I had saved, I was saying, yeah, it's going to be enough for a couple of months. But I was like, you know, if you have struggled, you know, 
you can struggle with scarcity mindset but i was affirming myself i was affirming myself it's gonna be okay don't worry you have like three four months worth of rent nini, nini, nini. guys i could not believe it because i was feeling this is my freaking house anyway my mom supported me she was like yeah go for the two bedroom my girlfriend was the same way like my heart was also feeling the same way i was like yeah bye bye one bedroom bye <laughs> and i was like yeah to the two bedroom anyway so that's the journey that i have got i have taken to get into this point now i have my like this is kind of like my office this is where everything that i have for shooting is because honestly that one bedroom the bedroom was like this size there's no way my bed would have fit and also my filming things to fit oh my god i love my house so much i'm so happy that i made the right decision hmm? anyway guys yeah so that's on that let's now get into the question i hope you guys have gotten a backstory so maybe one thing with me and god every time i have a plan god always out plans me like i don't know if it makes sense what i'm saying like i have a plan like you see i was thinking one bedroom and god was like no 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 baby girl you're thinking too low of yourself you deserve a two freaking bedroom because the moment i entered the door in this house i just felt this is my house i don't know how to explain it oh god always does that for me it's the same case if you have been following me for a long time i used to want to get an iphone so much so 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 much and i wanted to order from amazon a refurbished one and my thing was it's either gonna be an iphone 10 or iphone 8 plus nini, nini, for me shooting and then god just sent somebody out of nowhere she's now my friend and she literally gifted me a 13 pro max a stranger that i didn't know so with this house it was literally just god worked through me and affirmed me through my mom and my girlfriend like yeah this is the right house this is the house that is meant for you like i will have planned myself and then god is like baby girl i'm going to give you even more than that because you have trusted in me and you have given me um the opportunity and the space and the chance to show me that you will never lose hope and you always show up for yourself so you know what i'm gonna surprise you with even something bigger and better than you thought you're going to get <laughs> Oh my god, I am so happy and I'm so grateful and uh, I am so happy guys and I hope that encourages you to always believe in yourself and always show up for yourself because God does see God and give up and God loves somebody who always chooses to show up for themselves and is always consistent in that and never losing hope wow this video is gonna be one hour long but it is what it is i have to just testify like i was just feeling like the universe is just hugging me let me tell you guys though the journey to get into this house at first i was in dinner i couldn't believe it my nervous system could not believe this is my house i used to cry i used to feel like hitting myself because I was like especially when i went back home after seeing this apartment and seeing how amazing and good and modern these houses look and i went back home i was like no i'm not used to staying in such places this is where i'm supposed I, I, i'm used to stay to stay to living at no at my mom's and that environment and i'm like oh my god i'm gonna change the environment that's why i'm telling you guys you have to be very careful and and be very self-aware because change even when it's positive it can be threatening and it's so easy to self-sabotage it's so easy to self-sabotage especially if you feel like maybe you're not worthy or like something is so far from what you're used to even if something good it needs a lot of um processing and a lot of acceptance and a lot of self-awareness because ciao uh, even up to now it's just now that i am actually embracing and feeling yeah this is where i deserve to be this is, i'm worthy of being in such a place like 
yes because sometimes i still feel like i will think about it and i will feel nothing because i'm like i can't believe i'm here and then i'll just feel like oh my gosh sarah it's not a dream it's actually a reality you no longer live in the ghetto you no longer live in a single room you no longer share a bedroom with your mom and your sister you have your own freaking house and it will feel like i don't know what to say i feel like a, a kid in this house i feel like just so free and at so much peace like so so much peace and living here i have now lived here for one month and a few two months and a few days and it has been smooth it has been perfect it has been flawless i'm not doing it and i like to go to poor and i thank god and i feel yeah i made the right decision i made the right decision with moving out this is perfectly where i'm supposed to be at this chapter of my life and it's freaking amazing and now i'm gonna stop talking because this video will be something different from what we are supposed to be talking about guys i can't believe i was there are moments where i was feeling like this house is too good for me like i remember crying to my girlfriend i'm like no but sarah doesn't live in such places sarah doesn't live in such a nice house she's not used to I'm not gonna cry and i can't believe i was saying that it's because i could not believe it like compared to where i have grown up in this is i don't know how many times better like even when i was growing up i've never gone to somebody's place who has such an amazing house and i'm not like um flossing or like you know, Siringi, but Taniki grew up and have never visited somebody who has such a nice house. Like, I just remember, because I'm a makeup artist, right? And the times where I used to go and do people's makeup, and I just remember how much I was like, you know what? This is kind of like the vibe that I want to live in later in my life. That time I was probably 21, 22, 20, 21, 22. Right now I'm 25, right? And my house, yes, it's not in Kilimanjaro or Kilimani, but it has that feel. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, I'm not flashing. Bye. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's get into the questions. I'm so sorry, I've rambled so much. I put up a QA, a question tag on Instagram, and I asked people to ask me questions about moving out. And I'm just gonna go through them and I'm going to answer them. And I'm going to be as specific as possible when answering this question. I'm going to be 100% honest and everything, and I hope it's going to help somebody. Hey Sarah, how many sources of income do you have? Because I think somebody asked, I don't know why they asked that, but they asked that in the moving out video. So there's YouTube, makeup, wigs, cosmetics. What else do I do? Hmm. And content creation, obviously, I've said YouTube. Yeah, so those. And somebody asked me about do I plan on having kids someday? I don't think that is a question that I want to answer in this video. I'm gonna answer it in an, a different video. Um, somebody said, Hey, where you had time to plan yourself, Mimi to Likosana Nikahama, best decision ever. Yeah, and that's why I say that don't feel the pressure to move out unless your mental health or your physical well being depends on it, then absolutely. So, in such situations, um. For how long have you saved to buy a house? First of all, I didn't buy it. I'm still renting. <laughs> it's not a bought apartment. It's renting. Because um, I'm here struggling to save and I'm kind of mark timing. Um, first of all, I don't know if I told you guys when I was giving you a backstory, but I decided I'm going to move out in... What was the question? Oh, how long did you save? okay um 
I decided I'm going to move out beginning of March and I moved out beginning of June. So that's like three months. So I had some saving about just something because I, I had just bought my bed like two months before. I had bought my bed and my doctor mattress mattress <laughs> about two months before. So I on my savings, I had removed that, right? So I had around maybe 90 G's and then when I decided I want to move out, I just started adding on that. So I moved, I saved for extra three months and then I moved out. Yeah, for three months. But again, like I keep saying, this will depend. It will depend with the house that you want to move out, out to. If you want to move out to Kileleshua, it might be take you longer than that. Or if you might want to move out maybe to a studio, to a one bedroom, it might take you um, less time than that. It also depends with the amount of income that you make. So it varies. It varies. If you make more, it may take you even just one month. If you make a um, small amount of income, it may take you longer. So just be patient. Be patient, imagine, and just tell God to show up for you. When it comes to location, how did you know that specific area was the perfect for you to settle? So, actually, this was not one of the areas that I wanted to move to. <laughs> this is such a funny story. So, I was thinking of moving on the areas around Maruroi or Kiambu Road. I wanted to either go to Maruroi or Kiambu Road. But Kiambu Road, I, didn't, I never even went to house hunt them. But Maruroi, I went and the houses were not it. Maruroi told me that area around Garden City, they were not it and they were super pricey and they were not it. I don't think I, I saw even a single modern house, so that was cancelled. I told you guys I house hunted only one day. That day, I came, I had a few days before, I had come across this apartment on TikTok and I had shown it to my girlfriend. So that day that we went to Tome and we saw how bad those houses were. My girlfriend was like, you know what? How about you call that person from that TikTok, the house that you showed me? Because we had been talking about it and she really liked it. We go and see it and it was around 6.30 p.m. So we had to call that guy to give us the directions we paid. We had to call the caretaker here to wait for us like so that we can get here because we we're getting here at around something 7 p.m. And I was like, are you sure, baby? That location, I was not thinking of that location but she was like but that house is exactly what you want don't um cancel out a location just because you didn't have it in mind for some reason i was not thinking this side so i was like you know what actually that location is just about less than 30 minutes by a cab to my mom's 40 minutes maybe with a matatu or like 50 or maximum one hour if you're using public transport i was like yeah if because i wanted somewhere by i'm super close to my mom and my sister in case they need me i'm there asap in case i want to go there if i need them they are here with me asap i wanted somewhere where it's close to like supermarkets food joints such stuff and this place is exactly that like there's all food joints there's at cafe there's kfc there's chicken in there's galitos there's creamy in there's all of them it's only jume that is not here so that's how I decided. Somewhere where by this also like kuna soko karibu like in case I need something, which I rarely do, but I needed shops close to me, not areas where by there's no shops, there's no soko. No, 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 no. That's how I decided. Mm. Not a question. I'll keep winning. I'm a big fan. Oh, thank you, girl. Um, that's oh, this is also a question that has nothing to do with this video. Um, how do you manage to save? How do you manage to save up and still find money to treat yourself? How many savings accounts should we put? Again, guys, this depends on how much you earn. Um, I kind of like separate my money. I don't know if that makes sense, which I, I keep remembering I need to go to the bank. Guys, go to banks and also open a account there. Where you cannot access that money, let just that money chill there. Maybe you can be saving up for something so that you decide this is a bank account. Make sure you don't have an ATM also. Because if you have an ATM, 
then you're gonna withdraw that money at any time and that's what we're trying to avoid just or do a fixed account where you can't like remove but go to a bank get an account and start saving maybe towards if you have a plan or something i i know it it might be real unrealistic but i want to get to a point whereby i have different savings account i have savings for emergency i have just savings plain there i have savings for a certain uh thing you know and then i just i have savings for investment and savings for emergencies and just like savings for house stuff and just savings just for savings and just to use i don't know if that makes sense but i know there are people who have those things so i know it's possible and i am manifesting that in jesus name amen so basically what was the question i have even rambled i have forgotten oh my lock screen was up on there um so somebody asked how i save up i any money that i make whether it's selling a wig whether it's being paid by a brand whether it's makeup like just any money that i make i split it so when it comes to splitting that is personal you might decide to split by half maybe save half use half but i like to split it in a way whereby yes i'll save but i'll also make sure that my needs are met so you if let's say for example maybe you get paid 30k right depending on the needs that you have depending on the responsibilities that you have make sure you have you put the money aside for those th those responsibilities and then save the rest if you, all your responsibility they require all the money then you don't have to stress yourself about saving because this is something else i wanted to talk about if you're not making enough please don't feel the pressure to save when you're making something that is not even enough to cater for your needs just you just cater for your needs especially basic needs just cater for your needs as you talk to god and tell him to connect you to another way of making income that will add into your income so that you can have money to save so i hope that makes sense so it depends on your needs and your responsibilities always just make sure first your responsibilities are sorted especially the basic ones and then you can save the rest and then you can also i feel like also budgeting is such a good thing when you know how many responsibilities how many expenses you have in a month and how much you make the income that you get and then you can divide it and make sure if you want to have money to spend for yourself make sure you have also budgeted for money to spend on yourself as part of the expense okay i hope that has kind of helped with answering um how did you save up for furniture and house equipment is this a separate savings no so i told you guys i had about 90 by the time i was 90 days about the time i was deciding you know what i'm gonna start saving for moving out so i didn't i literally didn't put at it these are for house equipment and furniture no i just had one savings account for everything moving out and one thing i'm good at i'm good at saving and i'm good at planning things out so i was like okay everything is going to go there and then when i knew how much the rent is i've taken this house i calculated about three to four months in advance of rent this, i know this is a privilege guys but if you're in a position where you can do that please 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 make sure that you do that it saves you a lot of stress and headache like you know um you can plan yourself like that and this is exclusive of the month that you're entering and deposit was it exclusive i think it was about like five months inclusive of deposit so that's about four months rent in the deposit so that i knew that aside it's for the rent stuff and then now i was like the extra that i'm going to have it's for moving it's for furniture it's for 
buying kitchenware and all those other stuff so it was all in one account but i knew how much is going to this and how much is going to the other things yeah that's what i did um but it was all in in one account how much did you spend moving out so i don't think i ever gave you this um full countdown when i was giving you guys hauls of things that we got um i spent roughly around 27,000 to 28,000 so let's just say 30 inclusive of cards and everything to buy kitchen stuff everything that we got from kamukonji and i think it's a little no that is a side of curtains actually it's a side of curtains so about 28,000 to 30,000 with the things could because i got pots i got basins i got all those stuff because i remember one receipt was about 15,000 the other one was 12,000 and some 100 that's 27k and like i've said other things that were not on the receipt and the cab yeah and then for easily with the curtains i think it was was it 18k i'm a 15k with the curtains and everything but there was also my girlfriend's curtains there so but that's basically how much i paid at easily 15k or 18k i can't remember but between 15k and 18k what else i didn't have to buy a cooker guys i had budgeted of, of for a cooker but the first day that i came to see the house that day there was no cooker the day that i came with my mom and my girlfriend now because guys get this the first time i came to this apartment to see the one bedroom i was with my girlfriend and then the second time i was with brenda to take measurements for that one bedroom and then we saw the two bedroom i sent them pictures and then now that that time i came i was with my mom and my girlfriend and my sister and that's the day that we saw they had installed the cooker and i was so happy i was like so you mean to tell me i won't be buying a cooker oh my god i was so freaking happy because i had budgeted for a cooker and that time i wanted a cooker from vaughn and it was going for about forty-five thousand. and so when i came and i saw there's no cooker there's no <laughs> like there's no need to buy the cooker they have installed us some cookers i was so happy i was like immediately ordered the coach use that's it so the sofa couch couch you guys get it the sofa i ordered it i spent it i spent the seven thousand i also spent ten thousand on gas you know the gas cylinder i later came to see that there was a place where i could have bought it for six thousand again guys you see all those things when you're moving out i feel like this somewhere whereby lazima <laughs> peseta so during the moving process and also when we were moving and we left my desk my white desk that is in the other room like this one we left it at my mom's and the movers had to go back for it and i had to pay i think an extra 1500 and i had paid them 3500 for the moving and then i had to pay them again 1500 to go back and collect it it was a lot and what else yeah that's it I'm sure there's something else that I bought, but no, I can't remember right now. And also, during this whole process, I want to shout out to Brenda. All the videos that I have done, I have, you have had me mentioning her or left her number. Please hit her up because she's the one who took me all the way around Kamokonji. She's the one who, if you guys want the pots that I have or anything that I have, hit up Brenda. She's the one who deals with that, even with Isili and curtains and everything just hit her up she's going to sort you out um yeah so that's on that so in total to be honest guys right now looking back i can't even tell you specifically how much i spent because i was spending a certain amount different day days but maybe i don't know guys but you can kind of like add up and see maybe a hundred and something a hundred k and something for everything 
but i don't know because i never was such oh i did shopping my shopping came to about fifteen thousand and something yeah so it was quite quite an amount i'm kindly talk about caretakers and agencies they play a big role in moving either pros or negatively um so since i found the the video on tiktok this house i found it on tiktok um the guy who was advertising it i just paid a thousand bob he gave me the location i came i viewed the caretaker that day um she waited i came and I saw the house and nowadays the agent i would say the agent that i deal with akoto sawa um i've not had any complications so far. certain things that they had to change for me like um the bell actually that reminds me it has burned i need to call the agent and tell because i need a, a new one yeah so it was kind of like okay i've not had any challenges so far somebody said how did your mom take it i think i've told you guys about that i gave you guys a backstory how did you save so that you can buy everything at once i've also answered i also didn't buy everything at one at once per se because i later after a one month is it last week last week is when i got the tv so i didn't have a tv for like one month and like three weeks almost two months i didn't have a tv I was like, I just need everything that I need in the kitchen. And now, thank God, I didn't have to buy a cooker. So I got the sofa. And yeah, that was that. So I stayed like that for a while. And then, yeah, that's that. I later got this desk and the chair. But I would say, I, I still had like remaining extra money that I would have used to buy the TV and everything. But I was like, you know what? No, I had remained with some extra money from that savings. I don't know if somebody asked about how much I had saved, but I think we'll get to that question. Oh my gosh, I'm still not even half. But I had extra money remaining, but I was like, you know what? I still don't want to buy like the TV right now. Let me just wait because I know I'll get money soon and i'll just get a tv because i always want this is another thing when you grow up how i have grown up or if you experience um poverty or like kuteseka for a while you always make sure that you have for now and for and a little bit extra so my extra i don't touch it i'm just like i know I'll, let me make another extra and then now i can use it I already have for the rent for the what and a little bit extra but I don't want to, I still don't want to touch the extra. I want to make more extra, not then I can use that extra. I don't know if it makes sense. It's just like planning yourself. I don't know, guys. Yeah. Um. Wait, these questions are many. Um. It's not a question, but imagine we watch you with our whole family, mom, me and sister. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're also my namesake. Thank you, Motani. I'm also Motani. Thank you, girl. Um, will you buy mop na buckets? Yake, how much? I sent my mom. I can't tell you how much she paid because I sent her a thousand bob and she brought me slippers, bucket, and mop. But I think it's under 500 bob. Yeah. Um, how much did you budget for? I don't understand that. I kind of get what an Asema, but I don't understand that. I think they're just asking how much the budget was. But I have told you guys, the rest of the questions, I feel it's about how much and like about savings. Approximately how much does it cost to buy Vyombo? I'm starting from scratch. So I've told you guys, Again, I say this can be personal because you might not want as specific things and as many things that I want or like exactly what I want. And also it depends with your budget, with your income. That's why I have acknowledged and I thank God that I even have the privilege to save. So how much I spent, I have told you guys, one place was because I bought a lot of stuff. I bought a lot of stuff. And actually, some of the glasses, one pack of the glasses that I bought that time, it broke into 
totally broke all of them broke um but i told you guys this um one store i spent about fifteen thousand and something and other things i spent about twelve thousand and something so something close to 28k but and mind you i went myself directly to kamukonji obviously with the help of brenda but i went i didn't send someone i didn't buy from instagram pages so i was going kwashimo so if you're gonna buy online it's probably going to be more than that okay and this i had not i've not included um microwave or anything this is basically just the kitchen rack plates cups dishes um glasses what else um basins you know buckets for doing laundry um what else did i buy actually <laughs> this is just that <laughs> Oh my god i'm sure there are other things just go and watch the whole spoons um jugs it was a lot it was a lot like some organizers too bathroom organizers yeah pegs yeah such things such things um how did you deal with rent do you save for a number of months yeah i think i've answered this i do the same with my months i make sure and i thank god for this but i always make sure i have at least three months in advance of rent so yeah i would advise if you have the opportunity to kind of like manage to get time to save and it's not an impromptu moving um try your best to save up for a little bit of months so that even if let's say something happens and that month you know just anything can happen you have some period to figure things out if you have a certain um certain months advance in rent this is something that i had even from the days where we were co-sharing cost sharing rent with my mom because even there are times whereby she could not get her, her share of rent and i had to top her up so this is something that i have adapted again guys this is probably i had to learn to do this growing up with the ghetto but i always when it comes to money stuff i try my best to to have at least just a little bit not a lot just a little bit figured out and obviously with the kitambo it was maybe just one month in advance or like you know but nowadays because god is coming through for me i try to be a bit more months like maybe three months or something in advance so if you're moving try don't have just rent for that month have at least rent for like two or three or four months if it's possible um and obviously nowadays i feel like all um apartments they ask for a deposit <sighs> did you have a specific budget for moving out guys i saved and then i budgeted out of my savings i don't if, know if that makes sense because i didn't want to pressure myself i saved and then i made now i started calculating everything to fit my budget i don't know if that makes sense to fit how much i had and to see if everything goes along with how much i have saved um How did how did you used to save? Um, I used to see okay time for the bills too. Um, yeah, when you're in Mambia, I think I've told you guys. I just whenever I have an income and bills are set at, at that time or like I've had more than I need for the bills, I'll have I'll keep the money that I need for the bills for whatever expense that I have, and then I'll save the rest. That's basically how I save. And nowadays, most of the time, I do have half the paycheck. I save half the paycheck. I stay with. But again, I've told you guys, it depends with the responsibilities or the expenses that I have at the moment. If most of the expenses and the bills are sorted, I can even save more than half. If not, if there are more bills or rather more expenses, I will save less than the half so just tweak 
just know your income and your expenses and then tweak with what works for you okay um do your parents have any problem with you being gay when they may i have she machine to come out i just read it it has nothing to do with this video but my mom has no option like there's no option like even if she had a problem or she doesn't have a problem it does not really change anything about me i'm not gonna stop being with my girlfriend but my mom has never complained about it she sees me with my girlfriend they talk so i don't know we've never had that conversation with my mom she has never brought it up either um because obviously she knows um did you feel like you are mentally prepared to move out yeah i think i was i think i was like it's time it's time it's time for me to move out i'm ready to just be me myself and i i'm ready to just stay in my house and i don't have to keep being called i don't have to keep hearing sarah and then i'm heart attack no what's up no what's happening i was just like also mentally ready to just have my own space to have my own space to heal my childhood trauma to have my own space to not keep constantly being triggered and everything and just like to not be too of i don't know how to say it over firstborn like literally i'm still doing a lot of firstborn things but you know when you're there even if it's because there's some sort of trauma or something that happens when you are firstborn and your name being constantly called it's like you're just saying sarah even you're like is there something wrong is there something like i would say i was mentally prepared because i've been loving i've been loving staying at my house so much so so much plus there's more freedom me and my girlfriend we can cook whatever we can walk around we can stay whatever we can go cook together we can just stay watch tv like there's no any type of prohibition like it's just it's just me myself and i and how and she is here with me like it's when she's visiting like it's just perfect it's perfect 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 i love it i don't have to care about are the dishes done they can stay there for one day two days three days even without washing them i don't have to worry what are we cooking what are we oh my god no <laughs> so i was mentally ready i was like eh, eh, eh. i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready um um let's see mine is just saying how happy oh thank you girl how to deal with imposter syndrome and feeling like an inconvenience to others we'll talk about this um in another video but i've told you guys i dealt with imposter syndrome when i was like now processing act i've actually gotten a house and it's going to be mine and it's amazing and it's not like what i'm used to i was getting imposter syndrome but i had to remind myself it's not easy but I, even up to now i will still have moments where i can't believe this is my house but you have to believe yourself you're worthy of being in such a situation you're you're worthy you're worthy of such blessings you're worthy of nice things you deserve them um you're born here like abundance and good things are your birthright you deserve to to experience those things and be in those places just like those other people do pure una deserve kuko hapo and you are, you deserve to enjoy them so i had to remind myself that a lot a lot and i still do um wait i'm losing the questions um what percentage of your income should should your rent be um it depends it depends again with how much you earn and it also depends if you're living above your means or below your means i feel like um especially if you're starting out it's always amazing to live 
beneath your means and then eventually live within your means but never live above your means okay because living beneath your means will will help you a lot to save and accumulate more to where eventually you can just live within your means but never never ever 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 live above your means so i don't have a specific percentage i would say your rent is supposed to be this percentage because everybody earns differently and also it depends with your responsibility you can find somebody who is earning a lot but they have also a lot of responsibilities you can find somebody who is earning a little and they have a lot of responsibilities and vice versa so it depends it depends it depends it depends just make sure you at the beginning live beneath your me below your means and then eventually live within your means ooh, ooh. i hope that makes sense yeah. if i was making 30k i would not live in a house that costs anything more than 10k maybe you can understand maximum 12k 13k maximum but i would play somewhere along if you're living below your means 8k to let's say just say 8k to 13k maximum but again it depends with the amount of responsibilities you have because it wouldn't make sense if you have so many responsibilities and still pay 13k rent you see so that's why i've said it depends but in the beginning always live beneath below your beneath your means okay um what kept you going when you felt like things were falling um the vision that i have for myself uh, the dreams the vision the vision kwanza that i have for myself and just the life that i want to live and that i want my loved ones to live and i want also myself to experience it keeps me going and if things are falling apart for a while i'll just let them fall apart if i'm not okay mentally i'll just let myself just go for a minute and then i'll catch back up I'll wake myself back up but even when things are falling never lose focus on your vision let things fall apart if they're falling apart but just know regardless my vision i'll still achieve it that's always how i i do it always um for how long did you plan on moving out and how many months rent do you need you up front i think i've told you guys this i planned myself for three months and yeah and up front about five months including deposit that's like but again that depends on that's about 100 and maybe 50 but also it depends with the way you live rent might be cheaper or more you know when you're moving initially because I don't think you can nowadays you can get a house where they don't ask you for deposit kitambo it used to be but nowadays i don't think so so many people were saying congratulations thank you girl sony that's also a short name for Mudoni. oh that's what a coincidence wow um i have read that one how did you manage to save up well and invest in businesses my business uh guys i have had many many businesses mostly thrifting and selling clothes and they have all failed <laughs> but the one that uh, i really love so much and i thank god that it has never failed and i'm sure it will never fail inshallah it is my cosmetics business and that one i started with four thousand and then i i sold those things and i made eight thousand and then i i made I think 12,000 and co I converted 8,000 to dollars I ordered and then the 2k or is it 3k I paid for shipping fee and then it just kept going up and up and up and up with business you have to know what you want to do and then you can start with as small amount as possible as possible and then just keep building from there <sighs> How much was your budget moving out i think i've told you guys 
um where can someone get an affordable bed along thicker highway i told you guys solo that furnitures on instagram look them up or go to the video where i was showing i got a sofa and you can get a number there talk about savings like how much how much one needs i think i have talked about that a lot i've told you guys everything how much was your budget i had saved something roughly around two two around 280k to 300k and obviously i didn't use all of it in moving i have explained to you guys but that's how much i had saved and then now i decided i fitted my budget into my savings and i have told you guys when you save and you're doing such things just make sure you don't use all the money but you get you can get um i think by the time i was finishing moving and everything i was remaining with i don't know how much was i remaining with a hundred or a hundred and something something around that area because even when i was moving i was still making money even through the process so i could find myself adding more money into that savings account so that's why i'm telling you guys i never went back to check and see exactly how much money it costed me but i know the rough amount of how much cost it costed me um sarah talk about savings like how much so many people are asking that um what were you looking at mostly when choosing i think i've told you guys um close proximity to my family and um, have access to amenities such as just like a community like a society things that are needed in a society uh supermarkets um shops you know cafes such stuff um did you like save up rent for next couple of months to avoid getting stuck yep i've talked about that um where can i get the light that i got for your birthday that you got for your birthday present my girlfriend bought it for me at ring tech you can search them up um i'm living in my parents how do you plan to move out with a very really low income i've told you guys um first of all you have to just keep saving saving fast and then when you feel like okay maybe i have saved a little bit enough um see which house kind of like fits your budget the one that you would mind you wouldn't mind moving to you don't have to fully go i thank god i was able to go from moving out of my mom's to a two-bedroom but it doesn't have to like be the case and that doesn't mean you have not done the right thing you can start studio or one bedroom two bedroom mansion whatever big houses you know like i've said everybody has their own journey and i feel like my journey was from where i came from and everything you can also move your out of your mom's to a mansion who knows but just start saving slowly and then when you feel you're ready to move out depending on how much you have saved then put that into the budget of the house that you'll move to i hope it's making sense um let me see um for somebody starting life after campus which good affordable safe safe would you suggest huh safe i don't understand that question thank you um hmm. we're almost done how did you save up to move and still furnish your house i've told you guys i have told you it only helped that i had a bit of in one of my accounts a bit of saving and then i decided on that saving it's what it's where i'm going to it's what i'm gonna make it my house saving thing so that comes with my rent um house things and everything you know yeah so the coach i told you guys it's because i didn't have to buy the cooker 
thank god <laughs> and then the tv i got it i think the one thing that i have not bought right now it's not at an extreme essential one thing that i don't have at the moment it's a fridge yeah and just maybe a little bit of kitchen stuff maybe a microwave and something but i have basically like most of the basic needs i have like all of them and i thank god for that so much did you start buying things while you were at home yes uh, some things like some curtains i bought them and stayed with them at my mom's for like about two weeks before i moved because this building was still being jengad it was not done they had not finished but they were doing the final touches so i couldn't move in some of those things stayed at my mom's and just like i had bought a knife when i decided that i want to move out i had gone to china square and i bought three cups and a knife to be reminding me that i'm moving out as a way of manifesting and telling god yeah god i really want to move out like i don't know when you will do it and to be honest guys i was not expecting that it would happen that kind of like quick in three months but i had a feeling when my my birthday something will have happened to be honest like i just had a feeling and god was like yeah baby girl one thing about me <laughs> I mean, I always talk to God, like, I don't even, I don't have to be praying every day, but I'm always communicating with God, with the universe, I'm just always just talking, and I'm like, I hope you're still connected, and always show up for me, God always shows up for me, to be honest, okay, now let me go to quick, to the quick month, oh my God, guys, you see, I feel like I'm um, quick months. I'm waiting for the day that I work with QuickMart because why was I about to say let me go to QuickMart? I mean, let me go to TikTok and see the questions that people left there. And But I think most of them I have answered. We have 13. How did you plan your finances? Did you budget the money like the finances binders? Plus, how did you furnish all at once? Did you rebuy them? Furniture first? Did you have oops money? Yeah, I think I've told you guys what i meant by extra it's oops money um like what was the oops <laughs> things that you 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 have done differently um what were the oops i've told you guys the oops i've told you guys the fact that when i was moving i had to pay an extra 1500 um to the movers to go back and collect my desk another oops was that gas thing i was honestly not expecting to pay ten thousand for gas also for my shopping when i was budgeting i thought it's gonna be ten thousand it ended up being fifteen thousand and something so that's why i'm saying you can never have just exact amount you always have to have a little bit of extra um the rest i think i have talked about did you budget the money like the funds um uh, it seems like I finished quick, guys, but I'm telling you, especially with the sofa, it's because the cooker. God knew. And mind you, it's only the two bedroom where the two bedroom houses where they installed the cookers. The one bedroom houses they don't have. That's why God was talking to me, Sarah, two bedroom is your house because it even makes sense to pay how much I'm paying for the two bedroom rather than the amount that the one bedroom is being charged. It's not worth it, but the bedroom amount, it's more worth it. I don't know if it makes sense. Whew. Yeah. Um, what were you looking for when house hunting? I think I've told you guys. I also wanted a house that has a modern finish. Yep, 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 a modern finish. Especially because I'm a content creator when I'm shooting, some brands want you to work in a clear background that doesn't have a lot of, like a neutral, a neutral background. So, yeah. Um, rent and budget, security. Um, yep, yep. This building has a lift, but they have not installed, I don't know, a generator or something. So, it's still not working. But I also really loved that. I can't wait for when they will fix them. But at the meantime, the stairs are usually a good workout. <laughs> um, how did you save up for all that? I think I told you guys. I just...
saved and saved and saved until i was like you know what i think this is enough this is enough for buying the things that i need curtains things that come konji i already had a bed that's another thing but i think is i don't think i have mentioned i already had a bed and a good mattress so i didn't need to buy that i know a lot of people moving out they also need to buy a bed and a mattress and that if i had to buy that the mattress alone was was it 30 30 k in bed it would have almost needed me like an extra maybe 50k so i thank god i already had that in advance because the bed was 14 and the mattress i think 13 or not 13 30 but that thank god i didn't have to don't move out somebody commented don't move out if you don't have any source of income kitapuramba don't let anyone to try you have a backup until you move out i think i really talked about that just plan yourself be wise be wise and plan yourself don't move out just because people are moving out just because society expects you to move out plan yourself first i think that's the first disclaimer that i gave before i started the video how do you convince them that you're ready to move out i've been going on for months and this economy doesn't make sense for me if it doesn't make sense for you don't move out it would be another thing if it doesn't make sense for your parents but if it doesn't make sense for you too don't move out just wait it out until the time where it also makes sense for you i've told you how i navigated the situation with my mom basically my mind was already made up so it was just about her like just figuring out those fears and me assuring her that it's gonna be okay it's gonna be fine at the end of the day i've already decided that i'm moving out that's that about that um but i know not everybody is like me <laughs> <laughs> but i feel like if, when you become an adult and you you show about the decision that you're making you have to stand your ground but if you're also not sure yet don't move out because you might move out especially if you're not sure about it and even when you might know about the economy and you're not prepared you might end up pre proving them right so just wait it out until by yourself you feel you're okay with it one thing if you, t you if you you're in tune with yourself and you're 100% sure that this thing is okay and you can feel it in your blood, you can feel it in your body and you believe in yourself, that thing will never backfire on you. So if you're not sure about it yet, just let it be until you are and then you'll have that conversation with your parents and you'll tell them you just have to trust me because I feel like um parents, if you get to a certain point, they also know they also have to put in mind that some of their kids are like adults and they have to be given the space and the opportunity to make their own decisions and learn you know because you know yeah okay i feel how long did you take did it take you to plan all these um like i've told you guys i had it's in my vision book in the beginning of the month but i was thinking of end year or early next year but then i don't know what happened in march something i was just like you know what if i really want to heal my childhood trauma if i really want to have my own uh peace of mind i just want to connect to my inner child and just to connect to myself i need my own space and since i can do it i was giving myself a pep talk i was like i was also talking to god you know god mimi you know that this is the right step you have put this and i'm sure that so don't fail me always be my side when you have always showed up for me always do that for me and i know to how to plan myself and then now god in the mixture everything in end up too smoothly so it took about three months yeah guys i think that's the end because i don't think there were any questions on the youtube community tab but in case you guys have any extra questions make sure you leave them down in the description box and uh, oh somebody asked how do you plan yourself when it comes to paying bills especially 
for both houses i really enjoy your content sarah you're doing a great job oh thank you fame guys when i get paid or rather when i get a ch not check <laughs> you guys get what i'm saying when i get a payment um i divide it if all my needs are sorted guys another thing i don't have just one source of income i feel like if i had just one source of income that's when it would have been difficult but because i have multiple and god keeps showing up for me it's usually not that um extreme and i thank god for that so i usually just make sure like for my mom and their rent they have their own account like i have the an account for their rent and when it comes to this because like i do shopping for them a month roughly it's like 10k and then for their usage like buying things at the market my sister's tuition buying bread every day milk every day uh, all those stuff it's about another extra 10k now that i send to them maybe weekly or something and then i'll send my mom like maybe 5k or something a month or just depending on how that month has been so when it comes to rent that has its own account and then these other ones when i get a check let's say when i usually have a way a system that i deal with my money when it's from a certain business they go to a certain account when it's from a different business they go to a different account yeah like that and then i know if it's my mom's bills, they're coming from this account. If they're mine, they're coming from this account. That's how I navigate through it. If I get a check and it's from my... I divide them depending on the type of incomes that I have. Like certain businesses, they have their own account and certain businesses, they have a different account. If let's say I get a check from work that's check, I mean payment, from business A, um i save the one the amount that I'm, i need to save and then i pay expenses that i need to pay most of the time probably business a caters for my mom's business for my mom's and my sister's expenses and then business b when i get a payment from business b i save the amount that i need to save and then the one that is remaining it will go to my needs or if at that moment my mom needs and there's no money from business A, I get from business B, but not from saving, from the extra money that I have not saved, the expense money. So when it comes to expense money, I can use from either business to either, either me or my mom. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that's that. Mm, that's how I usually sort those things out. I hope it has made sense basically just um figuring out which business caters for what yeah i was saying if you have a lot of um what are they called a lot of expenses and responsibilities make sure you have multiple like at least more than one source of income unless obviously maybe you are working at a business where you are earning a lot of money like if you incorporate and like they pay you a lot but that's how i usually maneuver and i th thank god like my family has never lacked i have never lacked and my life is pretty amazing i'm super grateful and soon actually i'll be doing a giveaway i've not decided but i either want to do a big giveaway or like do a this is the first time i'm talking about it on youtube so i have not decided on the month but i'll let you guys know either i don't know if a week is maybe i should save a week for december or something for christmas time but i want to do a giveaway just for also giving back and telling you guys thank you i want to do shopping maybe for one person or like i can do a 5k giveaway I don't know when but i'll let you guys know but i'm hoping it's gonna be soon yeah just to also thank you guys for rocking with me and subscribing and watching my content 
I give a lot of credit to myself for starting, for getting the courage, for never giving up and God supporting me and my family and my girlfriend. But I also want to thank you guys, my subscribers, because you have also um supported me you have also watched my content and everything and i'm super grateful so i'll let you guys know when the giveaway is hopefully in the future i'll be able to give away more than one person but for now i'll just do one person for now maybe we can go shopping together or i can just send you the money like i'm doing a 5k for now trust me guys it will not sound like it's a lot to other people but that's what i have for now i'm sure as i keep to grow and get bigger and god to keep blessing me i'll be doing even more yeah guys thank you for watching that's the end that's how i planned myself and that has been my journey to here and i can't wait to keep seeing this journey how it's going to be and for god to keep um showing up for me so if you don't know i sell wigs i sell makeup products original makeup products i do makeup nowadays i want to start also doing wig installs so you guys can check out all the links down in the description box and you can order you can book um yeah thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you guys for watching and make sure you subscribe if you haven't in case you have any extra questions that i have not answered um just leave them in the comment section and i hope the ones that i have answered were helpful okay bye guys bye guys i'm finishing to shoot this video at 1 47 a.m 1 47 a.m so please subscribe and that's how i managed to move out of my months at 25 years old moving out was like my birthday gift to myself so yay <laughs> okay bye guys